JavaScript object notation. Now we simply say JSON. JSON is a file format and a data exchange format that is normally used to communicate between clients and server. So normally the server gives information in JSON format and we receive it in that JSON format. Now the simple building blocks of JSON formats are keys and values. You have a key in the left and the value in the right. The value could be a number, a string, a boolean, an array, even a null value. So we have a name here that has a value, lemu bit. You could have a more complex key value number. For example, this could represent an object that has a key name with a value jack, an age of 40, country USA, and height 1.76. We can see that the values have different data types. Also, you would see curly braces in JSON. The data between a curly brace belong to an object. So this whole example here represents an object. An object with fields, name, age, country, and height. And the keys and values are separated by a comma. This is simple to read, but we're going to go to Java, we would make it simple and convert Java objects to JSON. Here we have our main class. In this main class, we have our main method and a record. Now, if you don't know about records, they came in Java 14, and I am using the new feature. You can decide to use a normal class for this example. Now, in our main method, we created a new object of person and we passed in the value Jack 30 and USC. Now, when we look at the record, we have name age country name is a string age is an int country is a string when i call person dot age in our printout statement what do you think is going to be printed out of course it should print out 30. this is simple java i am not there is nothing about json here yet this could work in any other language that had objects if I call name, the name of this object is, by name, I mean the value of the field name is Jack. And the value of the field country is USA. So we have a very simple object here and we can call it and access its values and print them out. Now there is a library called JSON I don't know if I pronounced it well, but we can use it to convert Java objects to JSON and to convert JSON to Java objects. I have the dependency here. I'll put a link to the dependency in the description below. After creating a person object, I will create a new JSON object json json i am talking about this guy here json now to convert an object to a json string i would use json dot to json and passing the object when we print out the string you can see how it formatted our json string we have the name field which is the key here with a value jack, age with a value 30. Notice that even in the JSON string, 30 is a number. There is no double quote around that 30 because in our object, 
30 was an int. So when it's converted to the JSON string, it's converted and the data type is taken note of. Then the field country, which is a key, has a value, USA. And because this is an object, you can see the curly brackets around these values. What if I wanted to send a list of persons? For example, let's create a new person. The name of this person will be Daniel, has an age 24, and country India. <laughs> I know Daniel is not an Indian name, but let's just move on. Now, we would create a list of these two person objects. I would use the list.off. Now, instead of sending one person, I will send the list. You could send a list and convert it to JSON. Now we can see a JSON printed out and the two objects are listed. But to make this more readable, let me create a quick file in IntelliJ. I'll make this file a JSON file so that the JSON can be formatted and easy to read. That way, you can understand what is being written. Let me paste it and format it. So let's explain what is going on here. In JSON, we have what we call arrays. So if I send a list, it would be represented in the JSON as an array. And you can identify arrays by the square brackets. So this whole representation is an array of two objects. Remember that the objects start with a curly bracket. And remember, our list had two objects. The first one has a name with value Jack, age, 30, country, USA. And they're separated by comma. That's that for that. Now, imagine we had a JSON or we received a JSON string from a server and we want to convert that JSON string into a Java object. We can still use this JSON library. So we have a string here representing the JSON string we might have received from a server. We will call the JSON from JSON and pass in the JSON string. The first element or first argument represents the JSON string. The second represents the class we would use in converting this string to an object. Now, the fields of this class should correspond to the keys in this string. I'll explain why that should be. Now that we have converted this JSON string to an object, the object here being the person variable, if I call person.name, what do you think will be printed out? This should print Arab. Of course, because when the string is converted to an object, it will map the key in the JSON string name to the field in the record name. Now, if the record had nickname instead of name, what do you think will happen when I call nickname to have a null value? Because nothing was assigned to nickname. When you convert it, or when the JSON library is trying to convert the string into an object, it says, okay, this JSON string has a key name. Does this class or record have any field called name? And they can't find it. Nickname is a whole different field. So make sure that the fields in your class correspond to the field or key in the JSON string. There are other things you can do with JSON, but this is just the very basics. Hope you enjoyed this lesson.